make wudu, you wash yourself so many times a day, you clean yourself so many times a day to pray. You have a special shining on your face, even if your complexion is dark. Many of us, when the complexion is light, we say, oh, very pretty, very good looking, etc. But you are actually a person who recognizes beauty when you can see it in the darkest of the dark of the people. And you say, MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. Noor is not complexion. Noor is a light that is within, beyond complexion. Bilal ibn Rabah radiallahu anh, was one of the darkest of the Sahaba radiallahu anhum. But when the Prophet sallallahu returned from Mi'raj, he says, Oh Bilal, I heard your footsteps in Jannah. I heard your footsteps in Jannah. If it was you and I, we would look at the man, Astaghfirullah, I hope we wouldn't actually. And we would think this dark guy over here is already going to Jannah. Astaghfirullah, we have become racist. We have become tribalist. We have drawn, we have broken barriers. Let's start to build the bridges. Let's understand that race is a test from Allah. Allah says, O people, we have created you from one mother and father. We have created you from a single male and female. You are one family. I always knew I was related to you guys in Davao. Yeah, mashallah. Why? We are connected. How are we connected? So many ways. And if you don't know those ways, one that you do is through Adam alayhi salam and Hawa. We are part of one family. Subhanallah. Some of us are related more. Some of us, at least we go back there. In fact, we go back to the Prophet Nuh alayhi salam. Noah, all of us. Every one of us, we've passed through Nuh. He was one of our forefathers, yours and mine. But what does Allah say? Allah says, we created you different tribes and people in order that you recognize one another so that you can know not in order to destroy your bridge not in order to say we are better wallahi there is a disease with nearly every tribe in the whole world what is the disease i want you to be honest speak to your heart i'm going to say something very very serious i want you to think in your heart Every tribe, think about which tribe you are from, right? Every tribe believes that they are better than the other. Am I right? That is a sign of shaitan's trap. He is putting a dynamite on your bridge to destroy it. That exactly is the racism, the tribalism that we're talking about. Everyone thinks I am better. Wallahi, my brothers and sisters, Iblis's crime was exactly that. Ana minhu. He said, I am better than you. That's why Allah said, you are cursed. You are not better. You are cursed. So if you want to be cursed, you got to think those people are not good. I have heard it from a lot of people. And you need to work on yourself. They think they are better. Not just in this country, everywhere in the whole world. Sometimes even nationality. They think, oh, be careful of those people. They are this. They... Every tribe has good and they have bad. Every nationality has good and they have bad. It's not unique to you and I. They say, watch out. These people are crooks. Crooks. What crooks? Before I went to Nigeria, they told me, be careful. When you go to Nigeria, they will pinch your shadow. They will steal your shadow. Wallahi, when I went to Nigeria, the people I interacted with were some of the best people I've met in my life. Wallahi. Subhanallah. I've seen communities just like here in Davao, Cotabato, Zambuanga, wherever else we go. We see beautiful people, lovely human beings. May Allah bless you and bless all of us. Would you like someone to think you are bad? Well, then don't think that others are bad. You want someone to think they are better than you? No. So stop thinking you are better than them. 
annasu sawasiya ka asnan al mish people are equal like the teeth of a comb like the teeth of a comb how many of you have a comb with one tooth sticking out <laughs> that's not a comb so this is why we say be careful my brothers my sisters i mentioned a true fact that every tribe we are trained since we were children you are better than those guys we are trained since we were children you need to break that litaarafu allah created you differently to recognize one another to test you that's why wallahi wallahi sometimes i've traveled to the poorest of places and areas in the world and i've seen people who have made me cry because of their dedication with allah and his rasul wallahi in nigeria i saw a clip in one of the most remote parts of nigeria where they don't even have books they don't even have classrooms they were sitting outside not even under a tree and they were learning not the quran they had all memorized the quran but the kids were learning a shatibiyah which we don't even know wallahi and we are thinking we are better than them they will be in the first saf in jannatul firdaus possible it's possible why they made an effort they worked hard how hard have you worked to build your bridge with allah and his rasul they spent their entire lives building that bridge and with us we didn't even know we had to build the bridge how do you build it clean your heart clean your heart who are you i am just a human being like you why am i standing here because i care for you you care for me mashallah my brothers and sisters we all have that internal pride let that pride not become arrogance let it just be a happiness when i say i am proud to be a muslim i mean i'm happy to be a muslim i don't mean i'm arrogant to be a muslim i'm happy to be a muslim i'm a proud muslim which means i don't need to hide my identity but guess what i have to love you like i love myself because that is the biggest bridge i need to build لا يؤمن احدكم حتى يحب لاخيه ما يحب لنفسه none of you are true believers until you love for the other another what you love for yourself assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters hope this video was helpful for you this may help others too so please consider sharing and we will bring more videos in the future inshallah so consider subscribing and you won't miss any jazakallahu khairan